place of power should draw from it. Magic. A place of power.
run, Roach. into the swamp. Here's the cart. Merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood.
Oh, and you find the box. Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Let's go! Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Girmer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live, and fight once more for a free North. Fine. Go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You have a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Faltest's memory.
demons howling. Trees again. Kings do the fighting. Peasants do the dying. What do you say? Who told you that? Slower. Listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with chess. May the sun shine upon you. Freak. Big Grand told me about Smith's boy. Went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witch woman that was hunting nearby. Started poking him, asking, when he started twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Aye, oh, so it worked. Except it was some drowner that had sucked on the kid. Witcher, had not to do. Greetings. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care. Looking for trouble.
Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hanged my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog, said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition, that they don't fear the wrath of the gods, and you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister to the no. birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Oh. Oh. Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it, in Vizima. Ready your horses. Spent the last six months in the saddle. Haven't seen you for two years. Can we take a moment Sadly, to... we cannot. Someone awaits you, Geralt. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. 
far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Just the beginning, but then... But then... <laughs> Talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Tatwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. 
Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, See you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. A Vedimir, directly out of Nordling tales. Inconceivable. 